Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here again, and I'm continuing on our Snowbird Adventures for 2017-18. Um, so continuing the playlist, uh, you, you remember we were at Saddle Mountain BLM camping, and we wanted to get over to the Superstition Mountains and stay at Lost Dutchman State Park over in Phoenix. So we're over here near Tonopah and we had to get all the way across Phoenix over near Apache Junction the Superstition Mountains for a stay at a one week stay at Lost Dutchman State Park so rather than blast through the congestion of Phoenix um, we decided to head down to um, Gila Bend so we went down highway I think it was 85 down here no yeah right down here to Gila Bend and you'll recall in my last video I showed us stopping at Holt Shell and uh, gave you a look at that a little cheap uh, stopover park near Gila Bend here you can go back and and have a look at that video if if you want to we just we stopped there to do laundry and and dump the tanks etc but another reason I went down there was to go around Phoenix this is sort of the truck route that gets you around Phoenix so we came down 85 here and hooked on to Interstate 8 and then we moved along it through the desert here and it comes out south of Phoenix it hooks on to 10 again so now you're quite a bit south of Phoenix and you're coming around the backside so we moved along 10 off 8 onto 10 to this little town of Eloy grab this highway 87 and you can see it just goes through it's a nice two-lane highway goes through a lot of farmland um, and we followed along it to we hit it to a town of Florence over here historic Florence and then we grabbed highway 79 and moved up it towards Phoenix let me just shift the map around here so now we're going more north towards Phoenix here then we hooked on to 60 so you can see I'm taking really the back road in so I missed all the mess that's going through Phoenix on Interstate 10 there you follow me along Highway 60 here to Apache Junction and then we cut across I think it was Tomahawk Tomahawk Road and that got us over to this Highway 88 here heading out of town and to Lost Dutchman State Park and there we are right there Let's spin around here so you can see there we go so you can see it Lost Dutchman State Park down here is nestled right under the Superstition Mountains and this is the beautiful view you get of the the mountains the way they come down here and start to break apart so we spent a week here at Lost Dutchman State Park I had to reserve about uh, three months ago just to get a, a solid week in one spot it's a really really popular park you can see it's split into several loops here's the first loop here I think this is mostly full hookups but you're quite close together in this one the loop I picked was this sort of middle area here and seeing here it's all big huge semicircle pull throughs and they're quite spread apart and when I was looking online I didn't have a huge amount of choice but I picked this one right in here I think it was 63 mainly because I didn't have any neighbors on this side at all I had lots of open ground here over here this is a camp house so I have a lot of area over here no one around and then it continues on there's some other loops here and all the way up to here but I thought this this middle loop looked really good because it was quite far spread apart and ours was twenty dollars a night dry camping so let's continue the video and I'll give you some footage on the ground and a little bit about the park and what we did there but yeah gorgeous place just up on the roof here I thought I'd give you a little 360 view of the campground around us we're sort of in the middle loop that's a dry camping loop 
And I picked this spot because on this side there's not many neighbors at all. Just a big patch of open land. Gorgeous sights though. Huge. Nice evening tonight. We're going to go out and try to get some uh, nice photographs, maybe hike up towards the mountain there. See off in the distance there is like a little uh, lost Dutchman mine, kind of ghost town thing, kind of a tourist trap affair. But uh, these uh, pull throughs are really huge. I think ours is 105 feet, so there's lots of room in there. And they're spread out pretty good. Looking this way, we're looking towards uh, Phoenix. Right on the edge, Apache Junction is on the outskirts of Phoenix. <laughs> These people are enjoying themselves. And there's another loop of RVs over on this side. So we're going to have our happy hour drinks and then grab the cameras and stuff and head out for a hike, see what we can see at sunset. Beautiful night tonight. So we're talking January 22nd. It was a little cool last night, got down to freezing, but it pushed up to the low 60s today and it's supposed to warm up again in the next few days. Just out with Anne, she's doing a photography shoot with a few of her friends. Down there. So once you get out of the camping area, it gets uh, more into a wild cactus area. Lots of little hiking trails to explore, kind of get lost in. Love these chain fruit choyas. Huge things. So cool. Of course, the star attraction is the big uh, superstition mountains here. So I guess that range goes for quite a while. This is sort of one end where it's all broken up. You get this amazing facade. Okay, sunset's arriving and the light's getting nice. Your photo geeky going on over here. There we go. So I hiked around all over trying to find the best perspective. And then I called Anne and her photo buddy over so they could set up and take the super pretty shots that they do. But yeah, it's going to be good with these clouds. The sun's getting lower and lower and the shadows are increasing. Nice and calm tonight. Beautiful. There we go. Another desert sunset over. And, uh, 
so I can get the, the clouds and then still get some detail. So I'll, I'll probably switch to HDR. Okay. Never having done that before. I suppose it's just... Oh, yeah, the clouds are getting there. pinky. That's what... Can, that you can hear Ray doing it. He goes, click, click, click. Yeah. Yeah, so it does work. All right. Um, I usually do mine manually and combine them in post-processing. But Ray does obviously. Some little visitors to the campsite that uh, keep things clean. Make sure there's no uh, seeds or things. Little quails. <laughs> They're pretty cute, actually. Look at them all! Look at them! They're coming! They're all coming! Oh. <laughs> they're all coming! <laughs> Look at them! They're running from the distance! <laughs> <laughs> Must be like a dozen of the things. They're funny. Yeah. <sighs> well, it's another beautiful morning here at Lost Dutchman. The sun comes right over the Superstition Mountains there. So we're just going to take Angie out for a little walk around the campground. So I thought I'd take you along so I can show you what some of the campsites look like around here. We're on a loop that has a lot of pull-throughs. I think they're all um, no hookup though, all dry camping, but give you an idea how big they are. Look at this one here. <laughs> you could probably fit three RVs in this one. Nice view though. I think this is number 64. They're all pretty good though. So this is the furthest loop in. Got some back in ones here. Still plenty big enough. It's a pretty big campground. I think there must be over a hundred or so sites here all spread out. It's quite spread out over a large area. But uh, most of them seem to be dry camping sites. There is some full hookups around. Or water and electric. Gorgeous though. Almost all of them are, are quite spread apart so you have quite a bit of privacy between neighbors and lots of uh, foliage around, can't say that word, but the place is always uh, packed, especially this time of year. We're in late January, temperatures are just about perfect, a lot of days in the mid-70s, so it's hard to get in here, you have to reserve a fair amount ahead. I think you can drive in and, and pick up, you know, if people have cancelled their reservation or didn't show sometimes pick up a site. Beagle likes it. Lots of nice pavement to walk on versus dirt and rock and cactus needles. Let's head down this way. A little amphitheater here. Where they put on ranger talks and stuff. Looks like there's going to be karaoke. <laughs> Here's the other half of the, the section we're in. It's kind of a, two D-shaped loops. 
nice, nice big pull throughs. I think I like this area best as it's really, oh, there goes a bunny. Go bunny, go. A little cotton tail over there. There he is. Hey, bunny. Yeah, this section, the sights are nicely spread out. This one looks like he got hookups. Another huge sight. If anybody wants to know, 52. There we go. Nice little morning walk for Angie. We only did half the campground, but she's getting old. Maybe I'll do a drive through of the other section for you. Let's go, Beagle. You can make it. Come on. Well, the sun is slowly setting on our time here at Lost Dutchman State Park. It's been here a full week now. Definitely not enough. Wish I could have got two weeks here in the same spot, but uh, we've got more Southwest Adventures to continue on to. I will really remember this place. Definitely want to come back. There's lots to see and do all around the area. Give you one last look here. Today, we, this morning, we went and loaded up on groceries, water, everything. So we're going back out to do some boondocking again. So this morning, we hit Walmart, a few, a few stores, loaded up the rig, and we'll head off tomorrow. Spent most of the afternoon just hanging out in the campsite. Taking in the place. Until next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers, everyone.